Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying two um, cups of stuff. They're actually, um, I called them, we did a, I did a review of the other, of two other flavors. I called them yogurt. They're technically not yogurt. They are cultured non-fat milk and cream. So, um, they still taste like yogurt. Anyway, uh, they're called kefir cups. They're strained kefir cups. Um, this one is the blueberry lavender. And this one is the strawberry rose hip. And um, I guess the difference is yogurt has like active cultures in it, whereas these don't. I guess I don't know. I'm no expert. Um, okay, so the lavender one, it's weird because the calories are like in a weird place. They're underneath here like they don't want you to know. Um, this is uh, 90 calories for the blueberry and the strawberry one is 90 as well. So that's... It's not bad actually, it's pretty low calorie. Um, but these were at Kroger for $1.79 and Sylvia um, had not tried them but she asked if we would try them and see what they were like and uh, I don't blame you because $1.79 a piece, I would hate to waste my money too. Um, let me get these open and I'll be right back. All right, they're open and I also noticed while I was pulling it up, I said they, they don't have, yogurt has live cultures. So do these, it has 12 live cultures in it High protein, low sugar, 99% uh, lactose free. Maybe that's the deal with them, they're lactose free. I don't know. Anyway, um, these come with spoons, which I think is pretty cool. You pull, up, pull the spoon off the lid and you got a spoon built in. Um, that's for each one of them. And here's what they look like. And um, I want to just try some of the, what is it, milk? Milk culture? Cultured non fat milk and cream. I want to try it by itself, just see what it tastes like by itself. That is not good at all. Ugh. If you like buttermilk, you probably like that. I hate buttermilk. Ooh. That is so sour. It's like, it's like the milk that's gone bad in the refrigerator and they put it in here. Ooh. Yeah, I never was a buttermilk kind of person. So like I said, if you like buttermilk, I know some people do. I know my dad used to love to eat buttermilk, drink buttermilk. Um, if you like that, you probably love the stuff. That doesn't help it any. Ooh. That's literally making my eyes water. The, the actual blueberry itself, it's not bad. It's got, that lavender is really, is really strange, but um, I actually like the fruit. Um, it's different. It's that lavender that's really strong. Um, that's, I, I wouldn't eat that. That's, I can handle it. That is just so sour that um, I don't know if much that's gonna help it. I'll try it with the strawberry though. My understanding is the, they also make drinks, like a drinkable version of this. My guess is if you'd like that, I mean, if you drink those, um, you probably like buttermilk, uh, but if you drink those, you'll probably like these. I mean, why wouldn't you? You'd like the flavor of them, you'd probably like these too. Um, me personally, if those cups taste anything like this yogurt, I would never touch these with a 10 foot pole. The strawberry helps some, but boy, is it still, um, it is still very, very sour. I would run out of that strawberry sooner than I would the cup of, uh, the, the milk stuff, milk and cream. I would, uh, I would run out and wouldn't be able to eat any more of it. Me personally, this is not something that I would ever, 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 ever buy again. The strawberry one's better though. Um, nothing that I would ever buy again. Again, if you like the kefir drinks, like if you drink those, you, you're used to this flavor and you, you like it, so you'd probably really enjoy this with fruit and stuff. For me personally, it's just way, way too sour. Uh, like I said, it tastes like buttermilk, like a, like a sour, uh, milk gone bad flavor and I don't like that flavor. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't very positive, but it's just too much for me. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.